Well, one local student will be heading to compete in Washington, D.C. after claiming first place at today's regional spelling bee. Sarah Winkleman joins us live in our Brainerd studio with more. Sarah? Yeah, Dennis, the Region 5 Spelling Bee today had 29 local students who had already won at both their school and their district Spelling Bee competitions. But today it was Chloe Holloman from Royalton who took home first place. For an eighth grader who sure knows a lot of words, all she could do was smile when asked about her victory. It feels good. <laughs> Chloe says she spends every day practicing words with her mom and grandma, who were there supporting her today. Washington bound. I'm, I'm, I'm elated. <laughs> After having no hesitation on spelling the winning word. Einkorn. Einkorn. E-I-N-K-O-R-N. Einkorn. And she understood, you know, different and difficult uh, patterns of words and how words work and how they fit together. With each time stepping up to the microphone, just as confident as the last. I kind of, I kind of said the word like I spelled it in my head, and then remembered how to spell it. Last year, as part of the regional spelling bee, Chloe finished in the top ten but this year walked away as the champion. That's really exciting and um, that's, that's actually what I think we've been working toward is, you know, the, the big one. After beating tough competition and first runner-up Esme Poole from Aiken and second runner-up Nicholas Backstrom of Brainerd. The kids were very prepared and um, we had some great participants. Um, we had some really tricky words and um, so I know that it's, it's, it can be difficult for the kids, um, but we had some awesome competitors. Now, Chloe's mom says she plans to research some new study methods to help best prepare her daughter for the intense competition she'll face at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Dennis? All right, thank you, Sarah, for that live report from our Brainerd studio tonight. The National Joint Powers Alliance in Staples hosted the event and will fund the trip to Washington, D.C. for Chloe and her mom. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.